गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू हियर आई एम डॉक्टर अमिता क्षत्रिय टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक दैट इज अ डिफ्यूजन एंड अडोप्शन ऑफ इन्वेशन इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी कंसेप्ट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डिफ्यूजन एंड एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ इन्वेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट और फर्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज अ डिफ्यूजन वॉट इज दिस डिफ्यूजन According to Rogers, diffusion is the process by which an innovation is communicated through certain channels over time among the members of a social system. Here, four points should be considered. That is, the first is the innovation, second is the communication through channels, third is the over time, and fourth is the members of a social system. so any new idea or new practices is communicated through certain channels there is a individual contact method group contact method mass contact method intrapersonal communication over time period among the members that is a farmer any individual person of that particular social system is called as your diffusion it is a special type of communication in that message are concurred with new ideas let's see what is the diffusion process is a social process of the spread of new idea from its source of invention or creation to its ultimate use of adopter that social process is called as a diffusion process next we will discuss about the element in the diffusion of innovation so there is a different kind of the elements are there first is innovation second is communication channel third is a time and fourth is a social system let's see its first element of diffusion that is innovation innovation is an idea practice or object that is a perceived as a new by an individual or other unit of adoption there is a lot of technologies developed by a research is called as innovation that is a development of new varieties development of new technology development of breeds of new stock development of chemicals all these are called as innovations sometimes farmer also develop new innovation is called as innovation okay so then next is a perception what is a perception perception in a simple language we call as a individual or member of that particular social system is aware about this innovation that is a practice idea or object is called as your perception it is an activity through which an individual becomes aware of object around oneself and even taking place is called as your perception in that we are going to see one definition that is a diffusion of innovation an innovation diffuses within a social system through its adoption by individuals and groups is called as a diffusion of innovation second element of diffusion is a communication channel so what is the communication channels it is information exchange by which extension worker communicates with farmers about new ideas so extension worker communicate with the farmers about the innovation or new idea by using this communication channel for information exchange for effective communication so there is a different kind of the extension teaching methods are there individual contact group contact mass contact when the members are less when the only one person is there he can use the individual contact face to face communication then more than one or two or five members are there it, it is used result demonstration then mass contact when the number of audience are more then it is a radio or tv so this kind of the communication channel he used to exchange the information up to the farmers or that particular individual about the new ideas 
third element of diffusion is a time so research is a timeless in the sense that time dimension is simply ignored okay so mostly adoption rate increases with time fourth element of diffusion is a social system first of all we should know what is a social system you know we are learned in the first semester that is the rural sociology so there is a set of interrelated units that are engaged in a joint problem solving to accomplish a common goal is called as your social system okay so member of social system may be individuals informal group organization and sub system proceeding towards the next point that is attributes of innovation in that total six attribute of innovation first one is relative advantage second compatibility third complexity fourth trialability fifth observability and sixth predictability so the six are the attribute of innovation the next let's discuss first attribute of innovation that is a relative advantage so what is this relative advantage is it a better than the existing practice so whatever the farmer are using their present practice rather than that practice is innovation is better so it is the degree to which an innovation is perceived as better than the idea it takes the place of or supersedes according to rogers in 2003 for example if a new technology gives more yield or income or it saves the time labor and cost or has a less risk than the existing practice it has a more relative advantage in simple it is that when it is a more it, that particular innovation give the more yield more income it saves the time labor cost of inputs then it get the more profit and less risk then it will be the more relative advantage than the existing practice second attribute of innovation is a compatibility is it appropriate whatever the innovation is there or new practices is there it is appropriate according to the situation and culture of the farmer so according to rogers in 2003 compatibility is the degree to which an innovation is perceived to be consistent with the values past experiences and needs of a potential adopter so under this compatibility there is a two dimensions are there first one is a situational compatibility and second is a cultural compatibility so what is this situational compatibility so whatever the new variety of that particular crop is suited to the agroclimatic zones of the farmer and the second cultural compatibility that is a when a breed of livestock adopted to the farmers is in agreement with their belief and values so what when extension worker giving the information related to any livestock to the particular community you should be taking care for example in muslim culture pig rearing is a prohibited so don't introduce pig rearing in muslim community by the extension worker that is a cultural compatibility third attribute of innovation is complexity is it understandable complexity is the degree to which an innovation is perceived as relatively difficult to understand and to use here whatever the new variety is perceived by a particular individual it is can it sometime it is difficult to understand and use so here for example adoption of new variety 
of seed is a easier but farm machinery adoption of farm machinery is complex than the, that the former it required the skill knowledge to adopt the farm machinery after getting information regarding the innovation by understanding and use of that particular innovation that the next attribute is a trialability so trialability means can it tested according to rogers trialability is the degree to which an innovation may be experimented with on a limited basis for example seed and fertilizer may be purchased by the farmers in small units and then it should be tried on a limited farm why it should be trial to getting the result of that particular innovation before adopting it will be the profitable or not for seeing the results of the that particular innovation but sometimes farmers can't be purchased farm machinery why because purchase after purchase we, they cannot be requ it requires large amount of investment and it cannot be tried in a parts that's why it can't be trial a farm machinery on the limited basis so that's the reason after trialability the next attribute of the innovation is a observability what does it look like after the trial next step is very important observation result of that particular innovations so observability is the degree to which the results of an innovation are visible to others for example application of balanced fertilizer in crop plants has almost always been recommended you know very well seeing is believing so nitrogenous nitrogenous fertilizer shows the results on the particular crop so it shows the green color or green leaves uh, is by the that nitrogenous fertilizer so that kind of the result should be uh, um, want by the farmers so there is a benefit or result of using an innovation visible to the potential adopters then also side by side comparison is there means whatever the present practices used by the particular farmer and what is result of that particular new innovation so comparison is between the present and new practice then again impact what is the impact of that particular innovation means by before using that innovation and after using that innovation so that should be things are there last attribute of innovation is the predictability it is the degree of certainty of receiving expected benefits from the adoption of an innovation for example farmers are unwilling to adopt any technology or techniques which introduce a higher level of uncertainty into the operation before adopting any new technology farmers are going to think over the all the advantage and disadvantage of the that particular innovation after that he going to be adopt a particular uh, innovation means prediction should be necessary before adopting a particular innovation if it is a good innovation it give the good result it will be the more benefited to the farmers last conclusion of the attribute of innovation the attribute of innovation that is a related to advantage compatibility trialability observability and predictability of innovation as perceived by member of innovation is positively related to rate of adoption and complexity of an innovation 
perceived by member of a social system is a negatively related to rate of adoption